Yo, this is the boy, Mr. Yo, Vegas, and you got a lot to the Ivy uh, Rivera show. You don't know, she's actually a fire big star. Boom. What's good, world? Live from New York City to the world, it's Ivy Rivera. You're tuned into a special episode of the Ivy Rivera show. I have somebody to my left that has so much impact in the world. He is an international dance hall megastar, Mr. Vegas. Wagwan. Wag respect. Everything good? Everything's great. Respect. <laughs> Yeah, we were just talking, and I want I want you to <laughs> kind of like explain a little bit more about this because I'm New York born and raised. Right. And I asked you if you like New York, and you said uh, no. Why you allowed me up? You said no. <laughs> I let me lose my New York fans, man. I was talking about the congestion and the weather, and um, oh my god, you know, because I I love space, you know. I do love space. I feel so, you know. Claustrophobic. Right? But today is a good day. The weather is great. So you could tolerate it a little bit, right? No? It's not good enough. <laughs> you live in Florida. Who knows? Like the, the, the weather here changes, you know, like yeah. the green lizard. Like it, it does. Like so I'm just happy to see a good day, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's I've cool been dying. Cause like two days ago it was super cold. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like yeah. some days hot, some days cold. I know. And I think it gets real cold when it's cold. I know, but we're, we're in spring now, so we're going to see some really hot days. You I love know? the people, though, so don't get it twisted. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We're here. And it's so crazy because I was just going to talk about, like, the Brooklyn Flex era, where you played a huge part in that. I don't know. Like, the New York dance hall scene was different, and you led that ship for me. You right. know, like, right. growing up, like, I was, like, the little girl in all of the adult parties, and you could never escape Mr. Vegas. Yes, I So agree. you're here years later, still dominating the charts, still doing your thing. Like, yep. how do you keep that inspiration to, to keep going and creating? I think I just, I just love music and I love to perform. You know, like when I'm on the stage, it's like that is my getaway mm -hmm. from everything. And I just put 100% every time I hit the stage. So people always have a good time when they come to a Mr. Vegas concert. I have not gone to one yet. You have to. I it's must. Like crazy. I we must. We do everything. We mix everything up. We bring a whole, a whole Caribbean vibe. It's oh not just gosh. Mr. Vegas music. Right. You know, we give you like we drop Soka in the mix. Mm -hmm. We drop like legends like Beanie Man in the mix. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's crazy. Shabba ranking. So you, you're not missing nothing when you come to a Mr. Vegas show. Oh my God. You know, it's like a show. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's just like a show. Like a. a, a Las Vegas it. show, mm -hmm. like you see Usher in Las Vegas, that is like my show on stage. But it's Mr. Vegas. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Vegas, giving you Vegas style. I love that. Yeah, man. You know, I've been to Jamaica twice. Right. And I want to go once a year for the rest of my life. Where did you stay? In the country? Sorry? I in stood, the, in, the first time I went was St. Anne's Bay. Right. And then the second time was in Mo Bay. Right, right, right. But I haven't seen all of it. And I told myself for my birthday... You this was go. this was my dream. I wanted to have a huge bashment in Jamaica. Yes, and I wanted. I swear to God, you could ask Spliff, who's sitting over here. I wrote your name down because I wanted you to come perform for me. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You got to make it happen. I'm serious. I'm like, I'm in awe. Like you are a huge part of just like my upbringing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so I, I want to give you your flowers and respect. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Of course, of course. But you got some new music out. Right. With mm -hmm. Yemi Alade, mm -hmm. Bright Future. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the, the music video because it was amazing. Well, we went to Guadeloupe mm -hmm. you know, because we wanted to get like a, an African vibe. And you know, Guadeloupe, I realized that there are a lot, a lot of African descendants mm -hmm. in Guadeloupe. And I wanted to get, you know, that vibe. So Yemi Alide, she's from Nigeria, and I wanted to make that connection right. with the Jamaican vibe. So it's like Mr. Vegas. It was so much fun shooting the video. It's like this Jamaican man, right? you know, searching over the place, going all over rivers and valleys and oceans to find this beautiful princess, Yemi. Yes, it was, it, so I loved it. Was, it. it was I loved beautiful. It. We, did, it, we did like two days of shooting. Mm -hmm. And it was just fun. I, you know, I, I've never had so much fun shooting a music video. It was like shooting a movie. Yeah, that's yeah, what man. it was giving. It was yes, like I, you had a role. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was very good. Um, you know, so that's what the theme was, you know, just like, you know, connecting Jamaica with Africans. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, our African, you know, vibe, our African, ans our ancestral, you know, vibe. Yeah. And that's what we connected in the video. Yeah, and crossover is like... 
huge. It has its phases. Yeah. Like I remember when like dance hall became like huge in the crossover scene where we would see it in New York TV. Like it was just yep. on rotation, yep. you know. And now we're in a sense where like Latin music mm-hmm. is that crossover. And you've been nominated for the Latin American Music Award Come for Best now. International Act. Come on now. Yeah, man, with some great names, you know. With some Ed great Sharon, names. You know the weekend. Um, you know, DJ Khaled, you know, mm-hmm. it's like a, Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion, major yes. category. So. It's amazing. How, how does that feel like to cross over into the and only not only cross over but to be nominated? Well, it's the years of work that I've been putting in, and I mm-hmm. get a, I get so much love from the Latin market. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, the Latinos they love Mr. Vegas, yeah. Bad. I remember I used to come to New York and just do shows. Like, I would do 10 clubs for the night, just Latino clubs. Oh, my God. Like, 10 clubs, back to back. And I just go in, do five or six songs, and drive. People go crazy. Uh-huh. And I off to the next spot. You I'm know? sure the energy was crazy. Yeah, man, I, I used to do it all the time. I make a lot of money doing that. <laughs> you know, from club, I just was, like, club hopping. So it's, I, I, <laughs> think, I think for them to, like, acknowledge the work I've been putting in and the work that I did on, on Swelter mm-hmm. with um, Farouko and, you know, Alejandro and, and all these artists that I did. You know, the combination with the song with, you know, they did that like a remake of Head's Eye. Right. You know, so I think it's, it's, it feels good to be recognized by the Latin market because it's huge. Right. You know, right. I, I, also have a, I also have a song with um, Ludmilla from Brazil. And she's like, you know, Brazilian, they, you know, it's like mm-hmm. the same Latin vibe. Mm-hmm. You know, even though they speak in Portuguese, but it's, it's, like it's close to Latin. Yeah. So that song is like really, really, really big. Like, you know, when you listen to Soka Dana, you know, it's like real vibe, real energy. Yeah. So like over 100 million streams on on um, Spotify and TikTok and mm-hmm. you know, so forth. Yeah. It's crazy because like Head Tie has brought you all over the world. Big you time. You get to perform everywhere. Where's like some of your favorite places that the energy was just like unexpected? I think I think Europe, Europe is, is, is out of here. You know, when I perform in Europe, especially in Germany, mm-hmm. it's like crazy. Like the people they, there, it's nonstop. Oh. It's like the, the energy is nonstop. The energy never dies. Japan, you know, Japan is like that as well. But I think all over because I kind of bring that energy to the stage. Mm-hmm. You know, it, in my shows, you know, I, I can't deal with the dead vibe. Yeah. The boring vibe. Now, I'm sure you bring the energy. Yeah, man, sure. it's Vegas. It's lights. You know, it's mm-hmm. action. Mm-hmm. You, know, you got to get it cracking. So I find ways to get the people involved. And, um, and I think that's why I'm still touring and doing music. Amazing. You know what's so crazy? Because, like, even in Europe, I feel like the food there is terrible. Like, I, I'm sure you're a picky eater mm-hmm. from the island. We we like things, like, steamed and grilled. And yeah. you go to Europe and they got, I don't even know. Well, you know what? <laughs> let me let me, let me me surprise you, though. I find European f- food in Europe now, you know, um, I find better food in Europe now. Really? When I'm touring because I'm, I'm eating Middle Eastern food. Mm. And the Middle Eastern food is like, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> like, trust me, I find these restaurants like the Middle Eastern restaurants, Mediterranean restaurants. Yeah. And it's so good. I'm eating hummus. I'm eating <laughs> lamb. <laughs> some, the, 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 the chicken, what, what I notice in Europe, and this is very interesting. Yeah. The, the chicken is not like the big, you know, you, you eat a chicken here in America. Mm-hmm. And it's one like leg is, one leg, you know, chicken mm-hmm. in America is like my arm. Like, yo, what's that? You know, but when when you go to Europe, it's like small baby chick. Yeah, so you know, it's it's not a lot of um, what do you call it, hormones and stuff like that that mm-hmm. they injected in. I believe they injected here in some of the the, the food. Yeah. Well, so you, trust me, when I eat in Europe, trust me, you I feel good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh my God. Even Where's better than I enjoy Europe. Med, I'm I'm enjoying Mediterranean food right now. Better than even Jamaican food. Yeah, I like Mediterranean food too. I like yeah, all man, types but of that food. is where you find it because most of the people are there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, in England and Europe. Yeah, wow. Man. So Mediterranean is over Jamaican food right now. For right you? now, right now. <gasps> what? Oh my God! So it's so crazy because I haven't eaten meat for seven years. I only eat Ooh. fish and seafood, right? So I told myself if I was to ever eat meat again, lamb. No, I ate chicken. I had brown stew chicken in Jamaica. Ah. Oh. That was my exception. Oh. I had to. <laughs> it was so good. It smelled good, right? No you regrets. It, tempt, it tempted you, right? <laughs> it tempted me with yeah, the yeah, steamed yeah. dumpling. Oh, my God. You went dumpling and stew chicken. Yes. That's That's a killer. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my that used God. to be my favorite food, stew, stew chicken and, and the cornmeal dumpling. Oh my, the food in Jamaica is crazy to yeah, me. Man. Yeah, I man. love it there. Like, I will go there for the rest of my life. I'm telling you. What was life in, in Jamaica like growing up? Because I go there and for me, like, I'm like a tourist. Like, right. I don't get that, that vibe. Like, what was life like before you became the megastar? Well, I, I, I was born in Kingston and I grew up in the rural side of Jamaica. Jamaica, like the countryside. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to like the rivers and the poor life, like yeah. growing up poor. Yeah. You know, so I grew up with, you know, like no electricity, none of that stuff. But we had like the the hills and you mm -hmm. know the the rivers and all that vibe. So it gave us like Joy. this, yeah, mm -hmm. this eco, you know, vibe. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So so that 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 type of energy, you know, you you, you didn't get sick. You know, we didn't get sick. Because it's just the air is just so so fresh, mm -hmm. and when we shower, it was like no hot water. You know, you come to Kingston or you come to Farin, it's people bathing in hot water, right? And have heat. And we had to bathe in the cold water, so our skin, you know, is just like so preserved. Yeah. From that cold ocean or, or that river water. I feel like I'd rather bathe in the, in the river real quick. I think yes, it's I, an experience. It feels so good, man. It make you. It makes your body so. I think that's why at my age I'm still, you know, looking fairly, you know, young. No, you look great. Yeah. Yeah. You I think look it's great. the years of just growing up in the in the in the countryside. Mm -hmm. Because when you're in, when we, like now I'm in Kingston, mm -hmm. and it's like all day you're locked in a house in the in the air conditioning. Right. You know, so, it's so hot outside. Yeah, but the oh countryside is sweet, man, and the food. Ooh. I know. You want this real Jamaican food? You have to go to the countryside now, because I, they cook I the food on the, the wood fire. You know, like the the, mm -hmm. the thing outside in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and that makes it taste so much better. Man, I, that's gonna be next on my list. I've been waiting for an opportunity to go back. Just to move Jamaica. there. I'm saying I might. Just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just pack up and I say, like "Megan, <laughs> see ya. I'm gonna call you when I arrive." Yes, I. <laughs> we outside. Um, I want to talk to you a bit more about like the industry now. So much in music has changed. You know, mm -hmm. and I remember probably back in like the 90s or early 2000s, you know, we had limited outlets for access. So like to become a superstar was like, wow. Right. You know, do you feel like it's easier to make a hit now? Mm -hmm. I think anyone can break at any time now. Mm -hmm. You may have a song, you put it on TikTok. And as soon as it, you, you, you upload it to TikTok, it becomes viral. Yeah. And everyone is singing it around the world. So the whole process of... We had to go to the studio, record the song, mix the song. Mm -hmm. You know, but we had to buy a tape to record the song on. Have to, we have to take it to we had to take it to a distributor to distribute it to press the record. You know, all that stuff we had to do. We had to go to a producer with a good beat. Right. Right. So, but now uh, you can just buy a beat on the internet, and you sing on that beat, and you upload it to TikTok. And next thing you you, you wake up in the morning, your your life changed. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Just, just like that. Just, just like, like that. that. You have a like. You can just become a big star right now, mm -hmm. just like that. But it's it's challenging for me too because, like, although that is true, there's not a lot of people who can be 20 years in the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's it's about for me doing like the homework on artists like you and and doing that due diligence regardless of the access that you have to TikTok but I feel like it also helps people like you like I feel like when it comes to the idea of Mr. Vegas yes we're going to enjoy bright future but it's always a good reminder mm -hmm. like I see a lot of songs from the late 90s or the early 2000s blow up facts, again facts facts you know that's what the longevity does mm -hmm. and this type of songs that we made they're generational you know like they, they cross over from different generation to different generation. It's like mm -hmm. Bob Marley. You still can enjoy Bob Marley songs. Timeless. And I think that's that's what something that myself and Beanie Man and Sean Paul, that's what we have. Cotty Ranks, Shaka Dimas and Players, Murder, mm -hmm. She Wrote. Mm -hmm. You will be singing that for eternity. No, that's you know, okay. heads I kill them with you know. It's just like so sweet. And when it comes on, you still feel good. You still 100%. feel good. You know, so um, I think that's the difference. The dichotomy is music is short lived now. Mm -hmm. Because you get it, you get you get it same time, and it goes viral, and then, you know, everyone is doing it at the same time, and you're like, okay, next, right? And there's so much music coming out, mm -hmm. so you move on so quickly. Mm -hmm. Like you said, back in the days, the outlets were limited. Yeah. So when you had when you got a hit song, it was like it a was lot of like time. for like I remember Heads. I was 
big in Jamaica for mm -hmm. like a long time and after two years when it kind of slowed down, mm -hmm. it started popping here. That's and then, crazy. then England and then Europe. So music in Jamaica used to be like, oh, we're done with it in Jamaica, but then it just started popping in New York. Right. So when we come to New York, it was like a whole different Ooh, vibe. What Brand a new. time. Yes, I. What a time. But now it's, everything is just fast. Yeah. Everything is fast. You know, you, you can just text someone on the phone. We had to call people and, you know, and at the phone letters. box and write letters. And, <laughs> you know, we had to go to the, the, the ticketing, ticketing office to get yep. a ticket for someone to travel. Oh now you just God. go, bam, you buy a ticket on. It's so, so fast. Everything yep. is just so fast. Yeah, it's crazy. The the life is so fast. The industry is so fast. Like, what are your, your ways of finding peace? Um, I don't even know. I don't even know if I have peace. Because I'm always up. My phone is always in my hand. <laughs> I think the only time I have peace is when I'm sleeping. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm always like, it's, a, it's an addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I wish we didn't have this era. Oh my gosh. Yeah? yeah? It's like, it's crazy. Like, everything you do as soon as you're finished, you're like, where my phone is? Bam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything. You know, even, yeah. when you, even when you get some sex, you're like, as the sex done, you're going to look for your phone. Oh my God. That means it wasn't great. <laughs> no, it could, the, it could be phone? the best. It could be the best sex. We're just addicted. Oh my We're goodness. We're addicted to social media. We're addicted <laughs> to the phone. We're talking to each other and we're like, zoning out each other. We're like, yeah, man, yeah, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you're like, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So no peace for the life of Mr. Vegas. I, I, listen, I, 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 you're just working all the time. I'm always and I, plus I'm working on. I'm looking at music. I'm streaming music. I'm running my own company, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, and then stuff popping up, like you know, you, people tag you and stuff. So it's like a crazy world. Yeah. I wish I wish I could put my phone down for like two months. If I, if I put you my phone down for though. two months, trust me, a lot of people will be like, uh, thank God. Because <laughs> <laughs> people are like, yo, you chat too much. <laughs> but oh my it's, like, God. it's like so much things to talk about, you know? Right. And, and then, then I, I went back to school. Mm -hmm. And there's so much social stuff to talk about, social issues. Right. You know, so many social issues that, you know, is very, you know, interesting. Yeah, I see that you, you put your hand into the... the Political game. Tell me what right. opened your mind to that. It's not even in political game. I think is 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 because I went back to school and I and I mastered in um I majored in excuse me sociology and anthropology. Mm -hmm. So I learned so much things that that you know is relatable to what I experience when I travel, mm -hmm. like the way people behave and societies and you know just just behaviorism. You know when I look at people's behavior, right. I can I can I can understand why they behave the way they behave and. You know, just looking at stuff that is coming at you on a daily, on the internet, like you have so much to say. Right. You know, so it's hard. It's, it's very hard. So it's a you, curse. So you're being like the educational piece to yes. make sure. Yes, but like, it can be a blessing and it can be a curse. Why a curse? Because you have no peace. Right. You drive me yourself mad, just trying to get everybody on the same page. I guess. I guess trying to save the world, I guess. Trying to Ooh. be Jesus. <laughs> 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 you're trying to save the yeah, world. So, and then, you know, people are trying to crucify you because you're trying to be like, you know, why can't we be just good people? Right. Why can't we just check for each other and love each other and treat each other with respect? Right. And treat each other how we would want to be treated. And it's, it's, that's not, never going to happen. I know. It's, it's too much harm being done, huh? Right, right. And then you see it. You know, yeah. it's like so much things that they have to speak about. Yeah. Right when you think you're on the right track is, is always two steps back right. that so, happens. So I think after music, I may like do more of, you know, inspirational speaking and maybe wow. jump into the political arena. I'm not sure. Wow. I see that for you. Yeah, I'm well. not mad at it at all. Yes, I'm going to definitely attend one of the seminars. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> where, where we starting? Where we starting? <laughs> Get your tickets now. Yes, Learn from the king himself. Yes, sir. Man, it's such a pleasure to have you here and talk to you and finally shake your hand. Yeah, You've been inspiring the world and you continue to inspire the world. You're nominated at the Latin American Music Awards. You have music out now. You have your own projects out now. You just nonstop. Nonstop. But the main focus now is, is just working on this album with um, a friend. I just signed a deal with a French label. Nice. So we're working on that, um, you know, and trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to, I think I have so much music left in me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in this era where there are so many outlets, you know, I think if, if, if I, like, find that success now musically, 
mm. like what we experienced in the 2000, early 2019, right. 90s. Um, I think, you know, they're, they're like, it's, it's like it's going to be unstoppable. You know what's so crazy? I feel like even in the like late 90s and early 2000s, a lot of people made a lot of great songs on the same type of rhythms. Yeah. yeah. And you found a lot of success. Like there's a, a few songs that have the same rhythm, but they sound amazing. And I'll listen to right. all of them. Like it, what was the challenge of that like? That's why the music was so good. Mm -hmm. Because we had to be competitive on the beats. Because ten artists on the same beat, and you're trying. You heard like you may hear the Beanie Man song on the beat, mm -hmm. and when you hear the Beanie Man song, like you hear Zim Zima, who got the keys to the Beanie Man, you're like, yo, mm -hmm. what's that? How you gonna beat that? You gotta go. You gotta dig deep. You know, saying, oh, "Wafi see you and in the air." Yeah. Never get us to me if I care. You know, so it gotta be. You you have to. You know, you got to go hard on the mm -hmm, beat. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Head's Eye. You know, Spraga Benz was like, you know, you know, from a girl I pop and you wash in already yet. And general degree was traffic blocking. Can I come down in our tight and stuck in? So when you yeah. hear those songs, you're like, yo, I can't go on the beat and sleep. You know, I got to go hard. So you're like, nah, 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 nah. And the energy was behind that. So what I noticed now, even if we're trying to do juggling, yeah, I don't think the artists take so much pride in listening to what the other artists did and trying to do better mm. because the, competi the competition there was good competition. So it, you know, we, we strive to uh, do like, you know, to go hard on the beat. Right. So now I, I think people will, will more like, oh, I'm in my studio, I'm in my house, I'm recording by myself, oh, I'm not going to let anyone hear it until it's released. Mm -hmm. That that's not, was not the case. Mm -hmm. Back then we heard it before anyone. Yeah, before you, the public, you know, you know, right. hear it or heard anything about it. We, 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 we in the studio, we in the industry, we the artists, we heard it. And sometimes artists may come into the studio and I'm working on a beat. I'm working on a song and they're like, yo, I'm going to like that, man. And say, okay, try this. And some, someone may give you an idea, mm. you know, to try something different. And, you know, we used to work together. Oh, wow. That's yeah, amazing. Man. That's amazing. And, you know, the, the rhythms came with dances. Yes, you I had have. a few. Yeah, so man. were they were they we curated? Had tech for yourself. <laughs> Come on, yeah, man. You, had, you had a hot walk. Hot walk, broke like, it down. Where, all of them. Tony <laughs> Matter around with the dirty wine. You know, you know the bogle, bogle. Everyone was doing this in the dance, you know. And then I'm being, still doing being that. <laughs> elephant man, Panda River. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. just like a mad it vibe. It was crazy. It was like music then was like really giving you step by step. Yes, I. And obviously, we know you have a lot of dancer in you. So did it just like come out as you were vibing to the music? Like, does it the music come first and then the dance comes later? The dance comes first and then the music comes later. Well, like, personally, I cannot dance. You know, <laughs> so I, have, I have two left feet. <laughs> so that hinders me. Oh, my God. So you leave it to everybody else. <laughs> right. Because, you know, but, but I can see it. That's OK. The, I can see. I, I know if you can dance. But okay. I know I cannot dance, but I know if you can dance. Okay. So when I see a good dance move, I know it's going to be a hit. And you be like, I know that's the dance. Yeah, man. I'm like, that's going to be I can't go believe viral. you can't dance. No, I have no rhythm. I've never known that. Trust me, I'm from the Smith's Plantation. <laughs> so I'm heavily, heavily from the Smith's Plantation. So, <laughs> so um, I, I can't dance. I can do a little thing. You can do a little thing. A little thing. But I'm not like a great dancer. Like Ding Dong and them, you, they're like, they're dancers. <laughs> like, and, and the dances are so complicated now. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, people going, boom, pa, 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 pa. And then like, Psh. and I'm like, oh, 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 slow it down. <laughs> and then like, Psh. Psh. I'm like, you know, it's crazy. Oh, my and gosh. I'm, I'm as stiff as a piece of board. Oh, my god. But gosh. I try still, you know, they try to teach me. Yeah. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. You, you know, think you're doing age. better? Yeah, I think I, I got a little bit better. Progress, not perfection. Yeah. I would have loved to have kept that a secret, but unfortunately, right. <laughs> it's going to be But I, I can see it. I can see it when it's good, though. Yes. Like, I, like if you can dance, like mm -hmm. especially when the girl is whining, mm -hmm. and they're doing that thing, and they go down, and, and I can just see it. I can just see We're the like, hot yep, walk. and then got it. Walk. I, I had to just doing that. Oh, my it's God. Crazy. I remember when I was in uh, Mo Bay, I went to this nightclub, and I like to think I could dance, but obviously in Jamaica, they are a different breed. Different breed. 
So it's like, I don't even want to dance because <laughs> I'm like, yo, y'all got it. But it's like in New York, like the whole like flexing, it's just like a whole, everybody, every culture has a different type of right. dance and how, right. how we move to the music, you know? Like I know people in New York wouldn't dance the way that people in Jamaica would dance. But they, le they dance learn halls. they learn and they, they do the same thing, at, you know, when they catch on to it. Yeah. Especially now, because there are viral videos with dance hall moves where people are that that people are doing, mm -hmm. but they're not Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. So I see that a lot on TikTok now. Like when when I check the background of the people who created the routine, yeah. they're not Jamaicans. Yeah, but you could also see that too. Like people could do the move, but it's like a certain like rhythm you have to yeah, have. I just it's think, a flow. Yeah, yeah, the Jamaican them just have a little more swag in mm -hmm, it. I think. Mm -hmm. And oh, the girls, <laughs> the girls, they got a little more thing in the waistline. <laughs> A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Is that when I did when like broke it down? I just I just I just saw it. You know, mm -hmm. I and I, and I, you know a girl was around me and I was like, come here, do this, break it. And she was like, <laughs> I said, like, do it two times, like, break it, break it. Okay, and she was just it was so sexy doing it. I was like, yo, that's sexy. Do it three times, break it, break it, break it. Yeah, because you was like, break it, break it, break it. And I said, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. <laughs> and she was just like, I was like, oh. Oh my you go get some God. people in trouble. That's hilarious. I yeah. love it. I love the creative process. That's so funny. Mr. Vegas, it's amazing to have you in New York yes, and check in with me. I hope to see you when I when I pull up to Jamaica. Definitely, definitely. I'm I'm telling you my birthday. I'm gonna call Marie. No, no, I got we you. Gonna, I we got need you. a movie. I got you. I'm serious. I got you. I will cry. I got no. you. <laughs> We're gonna let your star shine bright, shines bright in Jamaica. All right? Yeah, man. The future is bright for you. Bright Congratulations yeah, on thanks. everything. And, yo, I'll see you next time. It's the Ivy Rivera Show. Make sure you follow Mr. Vegas right now if you haven't already. What's your socials? Mr. Vegas Music. Mr. Vegas Music. And as always, you could catch me flexing on the gram at the Ivy Rivera. That's T-H-E-I-V-Y-R-I-V-E-R-A. And don't forget to hit that follow button, y'all. Till next time.